ان لدین جاؤ بل اف کے داؤ دس کمنگ ہسٹوریکل ایونٹ اٹ سو ہیپنڈ آفٹر یو نو دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ دی بلیور ور کمنگ بیک فرام دی بیٹل آف مستلق بن المستلق اینڈ دیر واز اے کیمپ ایٹ نائٹ سم ویئر حضرت عائشہ دی وائف آف دی پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ود ہم واز ود ہم آن دس جرنی آن اے سیپریٹ کیمل So she had some need to urinate, perhaps. So she went away from the camp. But till such time that she come, came back, when she came back, she found that there was a necklace and it is lost. It has dropped from somewhere. She went again. And when she came back, now, now the caravan had gone, left. She was left alone over there. She made a very wise decision. I should not move from here. She stayed there, there and then, waiting for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now decides for her. There was a duty of Safwan ibn Mu'attal radiallahu anhu. He used to walk a little distance behind the caravan, main caravan, to see whether something is dropped, someone has some, left something, or maybe someone is sick and is not able to walk. And he's just lying down. He needs help. When he saw, you know, someone lying there and Hazrat Aisha had gone to sleep and her face was now uncovered. When he came, he recognized, oh, she's Aisha, the wife of Nabi, the wife of the Prophet. The words came out, inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi raja'un. And Hazrat Aisha specifies in this hadith that Safwan recognized me because he had seen me before the commandment of hijab the commandment of hijab covering the faces and covering the body for women it had come in suratul ahzab and suratul ahzab was revealed in the fifth year after hijrah and this incident is happening in the sixth year after hijrah so because he had seen me before the coming down of those those commandments regarding hijab so he recognized me but what he did do? he just made his camel sit so hazrat aisha mounted the camel and then you know he held the rope and went towards the main main caravan main army and met there but abdullah ibn ubay the chief of the munafiqin he saw safwan ibn muattal is coming with the wife of the Prophet Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنه. Now he started a slender. There must have been some wrong thing. How is it possible? A male and a female alone and they don't commit anything. Impossible. So she had not come safe. And with this started a very big campaign of slender against Hazrat Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنه. About one month passed, which was very painful for the Prophet ﷺ. So this is the incident which is mentioned here. Inna ladina jau bil ifk usbatun minkum. Verily, those who have brought forth this slander, they are a group from your among yourselves. They are Muslims. Even Abdullah ibn Ubay was also a legal Muslim. But in this thing, you know, so many mu'minin sadiqin, true Muslims, were also involved there. It's a weakness of human nature. You just accept something bad as if you are already, you are ready to accept whatever is coming from some other man's mouth. Don't think that it is evil for you. This is good for you. Because this will become the reason why these commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are being revealed to you for the future guidance. For each one of them, there will be the reward or punishment for what, whatever he earned. And the one among them who took the bulk of it, greatest share, that was Abdullah ibn Ubay, who was the initiator. For him is a very mighty chastisement. لَوْلَا اِسْمِعْتُمُوهُ 
وائی ڈی ڈن ناٹ ہیپن دیٹ وین یو لسن ٹو اٹ جن المومنون اب المومنات میں انفسیم خیرا دی بلیونگ مین اینڈ بلیونگ ویمن شوڈ ہیو تھاٹ ویل اباؤٹ دیم سیلس ہوت واز عائشہ عائشہ واز دی وائف آف دی پروفٹ دے شوڈ ہیو سیٹ دے شوڈ ہیو سیٹ وقال ہاضا افکم مبین اٹ از ڈیفینیٹلی اے سلینڈر لولا جاؤ والے ہے بیار بات شہدا وائی ڈینٹ دے برنگ فور وٹنسز آن دس فائز لم یاتو بھی شہدا سو وین دے کوڈنٹ برنگ وٹنسز فاولا کائند اللہ ہم الکاظبون سو اللہ ہولڈز دیم ٹو بی دی لائرس ولا اللہ فقد اللہ علیکم و رحمۃ اینڈ اف دیئر واز ناٹ دی باؤنٹری آف اللہ آن یو اینڈ از مرسی فی دنیا ولا خرا ان دس ورلڈ آلسو اینڈ ان دی ہیئر آفٹر آلسو لمسکم فیما آفست ہوں فی حضام العظیم دین وٹ ایور یو ہیو انڈلج ان اٹ ووڈ ہیو گیون یو اے ویری مائٹی چسٹسمنٹ استعلا کون نہ ہو بے السنت کو وین یو ور پروپیگیٹنگ اٹ بائی یور ٹنگس و تقول نہ بے افواہ کم مال ایسا لکم بے علم اینڈ یو ور سینگ ود یور ماؤتھس فار وٹ یو ہیو نو یو ہیو نو نالج اٹ واز میئر ہیئر سے یو لسن and then you tell anybody else also without making sure that this is correct there was that is why the prophet had said kafa bil mar kaziman an yuhaddisa bi kulli ma sami'a it is sufficient for a man to be declared a liar if he says whatever he listens whatever he listens he should first assess whether it is correct or wrong if it is correct then he can do it he can spread it further but if it is wrong and he is spreading he has become an agent in the spreading of the falsehood istalaqunahu bi alsanatikum wa taquluna bi afwahikum ma laysa lakum bihi ilm wa tahsabunahu hayyanan and you are thinking it's a trivial matter wa huwa inda allah azim in the sight of allah it is a mighty thing wa laula sami'tumuhu qultum Why didn't it happen that when you listen to it, you should have said, "Ma yakunu lana na takalla ma bihaza." It doesn't behoove us that we should speak about this thing. Subhana ka haza bo tarun nasim. Glorified be Allah. This is definitely a mighty lie. Ya izukum Allah wa taudu le mislihi abada. Allah exhorts you not to repeat it again forever. ان کن تم مومنین اف یو آر بلیورس یو بئی ان اللہ لکم الآیات ان اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از میکنگ فار یو ہز ریولیشن کلیئر و اللہ علیم الحکیم اینڈ ہی از دی نور دی وائس ان الدین یحبون ان تشیع الفاحش تو فی الدین آمنو ویری لی دوز پیپل ہو وش اینڈ لو دیٹ ان ڈیسنسی or its false news should spread among the muslims among the believers lahum aqabun alim fi dunya wa alakhira for them there will be painful chastisement in this world as well as in the hereafter wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun verily allah knows and you don't know you don't know wallahu la fadlullah alaykum wa rahmatuhu wa anna allah raufur rahim and was it not that the bounty and mercy of allah is upon you and that allah is gracious and merciful you would have been lost ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaitan o you who believe don't follow the footsteps of satan wa man yattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaitan fa innahu ya'mur bil fahsha whosoever follows the footsteps of satan well he is surely he will instigate everybody to indecent things والمنکر and abominations ولاولا فضل الله عليكم ورحمته and if there was the bounty of Allah and his mercy over you ما زكا منكم من احد ابدا none of you would have been able to purify his souls ولكن الله يزكي من يشاء but Allah purifies the souls of those whom he wish والله سميع عليم and Allah is the hearer the knower ولا يات لي اولو الافضل منكم والسعات ان يوتوا اولو القربى والمساكين والمهاجرين في سبيل الله 
Now there is another incident. Unless you know that this ayah will not be understood. There was a distant relative, relative of Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, Mistah. He was also involved in this scandal. In this scandal and slander. So Hazrat Abu Bakr, he swore by Allah subhanahu He used to help him monetarily. But when he came to know that he is also included on, among those people who are slandering, so he swore by Allah, now I am not going to help you. Now Allah is saying to him, don't do this. Those who possess bounty and abundance among you, let them not swear on you to Ulil Qurba. That they will do good to their relatives or the needy or the muhajireen, those who have migrated in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mr. was also a muhajir. They should forgive and they should overlook. Don't you like that Allah should forgive you? On this Abu Bakr cried out. Nuhibbu an taqfir alana rabbana. And he said, okay, I will give the kafara of this swear that I had made. And I will continue my help to Mista. Allah tuhibbun an yaqfir allahu lakum. Wallahu ghafuru rahim. And Allah is merciful and forgiving. Inna ladhina yarmun al-muhsanat al-ghafilat al-mu'minat. Verily, those who accuse chaste women who have never even thought of any wicked thing from among the believing women, they are cursed in this world also and in the hereafter. For them is a very big chastisement. On the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will testify against them as to what they were used to do. On that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them their reward, that is the punishment in full. And they will come to know that verily Allah is the truth, total truth. And it is absolutely manifest truth.